basically, to answer that is, you, you have to, to know what's going on, you have to understand the hijack. The hijack of when you got people talking about other worlds. And, oh, listen, listen. All these dudes are, are very, very good at reading books, sacred books, uh, ancient scrolls, Dead Sea Scrolls, and all of that. Um, if and now I'm watching a lot of YouTube channels, and I'm saying, wow, you know, even a lot of the guys that I I might look to and be like, yo, this dude is is nice with. Let me, let me listen to him. I feel connected with him. He, he's from where I'm from. But then you you realize one day I was I'm not gonna use names. One day I'm I'm listening to one of these so called intellects. And then they lost their place in the book that they was reading. And I was like, oh, shit, he's reading out of a book. And when you see all of these comedic niggas, these forbidden knowledge dudes, and, and all of these, I don't know, Israelites, I guess they master the Bible. Then you got some people that, that was privy, like myself, to be led in certain temples and read certain scrolls and, 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 and texts and things like that. But you can't take them with you. And um, they they read all of this. And a lot of stuff that we're talking about are from ancient, maybe Anunnaki scriptures and stuff like that. And Numa Elish, Gilgamesh epics, or Pentashads. And I, you know, what I was telling y'all from the ancient Babylon, Sumerian, uh, uh, Mesopotamian, Egypt and all of that, that whole line all up and down there. Um, they got a lot of books and hieroglyphs. And the people who go over there and study them, that's why you hear these teachers, they're always going to say, you know, I just came back from Africa, I was standing by the pyramids. Or, and that's just to strengthen that they went somewhere, read stuff, which might have been intelligent stuff. Nothing wrong with reading intelligent stuff and sharing it. But this is how they're getting their uh, blessings of being an intellect. Because they master books. Zachariah Stitchin, Jordan Maxwell. Be Jordan Maxwell, I love Jordan Maxwell. Very great teacher. But they all will tell you they did research. Did research where? You got on a goddamn ship somewhere and went, went to the fourth dimension? No, they did research in going over, re meaning going over, a search of all kind of scroll, scrolls and stuff that not in the educational system. So anytime somebody brings to you something that you haven't been educated about, they're going to seem like a genius or intellect. And that should let you know how dumbed down education is because all these dudes is doing, I've been reading these books since the eighties, early nineties. Anunnaki, I grew my children up on tablets, Gilgamesh epics. I would read out of them, Texts and stuff like y'all would read to your children or, or Dr. Seuss book. I've been kids told you about Nibiru or, or the Anunnaki or the Elohim and all of these things that people getting off of the internet. You're getting it from people who read these books. So when they go into the, the, the goddesses and you, you're going to go back to the books written, the Pistis Sophia. The great Sophia, the great God. These are all scrolls and tablets and Vedas, and I've been telling y'all this that I, I have all of this stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't sit and, and not have this kind of stuff. I have all of this kind of stuff, and I, I, I've studied it for years. I'm, I'm telling you, it's all in me. That's when I finally said, "Dad, this is great stuff," and it's you know unbreakable. downable. People can't really fuck with it, but it's not mine. It's authored, even though it fit. I wanted to go and, you know, get something that was mine. So I started solar tapping or whatever you want to call it to get information in so I can have from just myself generated from me just as much I had generated and read and took in. Then I started comparing it. And now that's when you get Polaris. Let me try to explain to you people what they mean by the simulation. We're living in the simulation and all of this. This is the matrix. The best way I can do it is teach you about how to manifest solid matter from pro photons and uh, cymatic frequencies. How to manifest solid matter 
from photons and uh, cymatic frequencies, which are sound waves. And that alone is why I don't teach it, because I would have to teach it the right way. And then people be like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, uh, the way the universe is made up of what you, I don't know if you are familiar with the string theory. I'm not sure how many people are familiar with the string theory. Uh, it's all based on uh, microscopic sized strings that can emanate matter into existence through, through, through frequencies. And that'll create an illusion. Or, or false reality. In other words, say that Polaris is a light bulb, and I'm gonna tell you how to go. You know, imagine a light bulb, and you put your hand up to the light bulb, just like you're giving a five, just your hand up, right, covering it. Now, that is not light. That's illumination, and around that is seven more uh, illuminated. Uh, let's just say circles, let's just say that, and it's illuminating, it's not giving off light, it's better than light, it's illumination, and you put your hand above or, or to that light bulb, right, y'all do it in your head or if y'all can do it now, and then kind of open each finger, letting some of the light out, right, that light that's let out would be called the shadow of the illumination. That's why everything has a shadow. That shadow, you, look on the wall. Your shadow is that secondary reality, that false reality. This light now gets directed or beamed. And if I'm trying to build the world to accept this light, I have to build pyramids on the planet Earth to for this light to travel through and, and refract more and, and break down. Just put it like that. So when you hear I am the truth, the way, the light, this is, this is a, a technique called stealing the illumination and giving you a denser, giving you now light from something that was illuminated, that was illuminating. But if you cover it, you open your fingers, the light that escapes, those rays that escape, see how the sun comes to you in rays? Sun is the mechanism that you can go through. When, it, when the rainbow and everything is created from this, I don't want to get too far into that, but this is a refraction of light. And pyramids were necessary to capture and bend this light. And that, and if you can imagine a lot of rays of light and it's starting to arc or bend, think of a rainbow. Okay? So this was stolen light from somewhere else. Uh, put in a dense place, a dense corner maybe. And when light drops down, I don't know if y'all know it or not, it drops, it goes downward into like a pyramid shape. It forms like a pyramid. So it 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 it, it had to match up with the pyramid. The, what the light was doing, forming in that shape, that triangular shape, square bottom, you had to build something on earth that it can just lock right into. That light. And now that light is the light of this world. It's a false reality. And this was done by using photons and cymatic frequencies. Now you can you can manifest solid matter from photons. Photons, excuse me, and cymatic frequencies. Y'all understand this? Now you can begin to manifest solid matter. But this is why they tell you nothing is solid. Nothing is nothing. You know, you can't really touch nothing. And I, I grew up to, what you mean I can't touch nothing? That's a rock right there. I'm touching it. You understand what I'm saying? And, and boy, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Those microscopic, those microscopic strings that are emanating matter into existence through this frequency. Through this frequency that I'm teaching you about, the light coming down, being refracted or, or lessened. And you, you, photons are really like a, a, a 
quarter of light is of the real story. Photons uh, uh, move around in, in fields in the in the universe, but they they they, they house radiation. Y'all y'all understand that? They're 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 electric fields traveling through space, and they carry energy. You understand that? And the energy that they carry has zero mass. So if y'all understand what I'm saying, again, let me go to get the, the real light. You put your hand up, open your fingers, and the lesser light comes through. That lesser light that comes through has frequencies on it. And if you can chime into that frequency with photons and string theory, the way the universe is made up, I say the way it works is all based on my microscopic strings that are emanating matter into existence. These are the strings, the light. The light that's split all up. Look, think of the sun ray. Don't the rays of the sun look like separate strings? And everything under those strings are puppets. This is why you get puppets do hanging from strings. But there's someone up here doing this high science. There's someone, there's, there's people who know to, to go over to another house, steal light and bring it over here. But when they get over here, you got to remember, they don't really know anything. You got an earth here. And this earth is, is, uh, is, is plants, is, is agriculture. And you can be here for years and somebody can hand you all different kind of seeds. And you wouldn't know what to do with them. And if someone handed you all these seeds and said, and you said, what is these seeds? And someone says, by their fruits, you shall know them. You can go another thousand years. What the hell is he talking about? Somebody has to come along and teach you now to plant the seed into soil. And if what you get out of that seed in a month or two or three or four months with sunlight and rain is the orange, then you knew that seed by its fruit. You learn it by the fruit that it manifests. That's the same thing with people. If somebody's a fucked up person, fucked up person, he's a seed. He's, a, he's showing you who he is by what, he's, what he does, by his fruits, by what he keeps doing. That's why uh, uh, it's, um, from their fruits you shall know them. But how, how would you get to the fruit if you didn't know how to put the seed in? And in that seed is already the Blueprint of life. Now we want to go from one place to another and have a light and everything. We don't know where nothing is at. Somebody has to go back someplace and steal. Let me give you all a good example. Think of goddesses, mothers, all in a laboratory. Coming up with the equations for everything on the planet Earth. Because they're here already before this stolen light got here. They're here on one side. Nurturing the whole earth. How did you get all those fruits? How did you get all this? How How's everything so green? How's the agriculture so beautiful and producing and on rotation with the with the sun and, and, and the rain and all of that? There's masters behind that. So if you're in a laboratory getting all your equations together to build things, to know things, because you're doing all the, the work, and somebody is over here and they don't have nothing. They don't know what to do. Say they go in your lab when you're not there and steal your blueprint, steal everything you know. Now they'll come out and say, wow, this looks like she wrote down in this part of the earth. You take a compass and you go lat uh, longitude this way, this distance this way. She's saying dig there and there's a thing called oil. This oil could begin to do this because it's all on the notes. Now you was a wanderer. You're under false light, but don't know what to do. You're a caveman. You, you, we, you steal fire and it takes a thousand years for you to know how to harness it. What I'm saying is, this hijack, the, the beings that came here and, and put us in this matrix really had to come back, keep coming back to the mother's house, to the, to the oracles. Because the oracles was the ones in the frequency and in, in the... In the, in the same rhythm and vibration, in the same sound wave with everything that was going on. 
So whatever they said, they gave instructions and everything happened. The alphas didn't want to be a part of this. So they wanted to go away somewhere else and, you know, have their own life. They wanted to house their own life. And that's exactly what they did. They housed their own life. They like, and but they had to keep coming back, coming back to steal certain things that they just didn't know that the goddesses was doing. And that's like when somebody tell you to make up a few ways to get money. And you sit there for days. You know, you think of all the regular ways. Then somebody teaches you that there's a such thing called treasure in the sea. It hands you a treasure map. Now you're looking for a new place to go get money. You didn't know about treasures and going into the sea. Now you got to know how to uh, 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 build a boat. How do you do this? So just to even do that, they had to keep going back, stealing blueprints. This will be called the Tesseract, the, the DNA. When they reached back on those notes, Mother had or the Nomos had or the ancient, our ancient uh, ancestors had creation. They was, they was dealing with strands of life. Not strings of life, strands of life. Gin, reptile, and things of that nature. Dealing with, with dual natures, homothodites, or we all in one, uh, aphrodisiac, all that. They, they was dealing with more than 26, let's just say, letters. They was dealing with 52 letters. And you come in and you can steal 26 so you put 26 letters in your alphabet, but, but there's another 26 for the seven realms, which is which will make it 52. All right, five and two is seven, seven realms. We didn't get uh, in this uh, projection. We just got 26. The Yahoo, the the Y, the U, the W, and the H, for them to have a Yahoo or God, and it cut off all goddess information. So they left us, they only have half the, half of whatever they're supposed to have. And just like when you are multidite and you have the both circulatory, uh, circulatory in you to be male and female, if they split you, you only leave with the male. You only, and one person only leave being a female. And y'all was once together, but you only now know how to do what a man know how to do. You only now know how to do what a female or woman would know how to do. Until y'all try to merge back together. And that's what you see in this day and time. So the hijack was like beings here. Living by nature. By a goddess way. And you on the outside don't know nothing. Don't know what to do. So you start hunting and killing animals. And doing all kinds of stuff. You don't know nothing about the flesh of the animal. How to go in and start mixing a cat with a snake or this. To start uh, a certain type of creation. It was the woman, the Nomo tribes that was doing that, or the Nagas, that was that really had the blueprint to what was going to go hit, go on here in the planet until a lot of it was stolen and corrupted, and then being other beings were created, and this this was this happened over a long time. But anyway, let me get on something else real quick before our time uh, uh, rolls out. Why oldies but goodies? What I tell you is they take celebrities, and by the way, the uh, Show before this, I just took down because I I don't know what's going on. I was trying to teach y'all certain things, and I kept going back. Show was at 50, 60 views, 70 views. I went back. It's now at 40 views. I go, wait a minute. Something must be wrong. So I share it again and wait a couple of days, and it goes back up to 100 views. I go, okay, must have been a mistake. I come back, and it's on one view. So this is the, the previous program that I uh, put up sharing with y'all. I even forgot it. I was sitting down talking. And I just went on and erased it because, you know, everything is in me. I don't I don't need to play YouTube games or why they would just take so future views and we're so small. And like I said, y'all are understanding now what small is becoming bright because the world is being exposed. All the stars, everything you see is scripted. Everything you see, this is what I was talking about in that program that they took down. All your rappers, your actors, and your actresses, they meet somewhere, let's just say in the green room or something for a play. And all of them are handed scripts. They're hugging you, what's up my dude? Uh, Jay-Z chilling with Puffy, Puffy chilling with 50, 50 chilling with Puffy. This person that you thought was beefing, they get scripts. Go, I got you, I got to dish you on the internet. And they go back out to create the confusion. You have to have a good side, a bad side. You have to have wars. 
So now when you cut on social media, there's nothing but this person bringing this person out. This person is dropping this. This person is dropping that. Man, they all knew this kind of shit. They all, y'all yeah, know about Catholic priests. Y'all know about McDonald's house. Y'all know about pedophilia. We grew up with missing children on the, on, on the milk carton. Come on, man. Y'all all know what's going on. They, they been know what's going on. But their time is just up because they're moving on with bigger projects, metaverse projects, and they're going on to uh, put some light someplace, somewhere else, build avatars and take souls and drop them into those avatars. So everything has to come to a, a, a has to be cleansed. This is the Aquarian age. This is the uh, man with the pail of water pouring it out in front of a door. And you should follow him in the house that he goes into, creation time. So everything, they, they're dangling all their puppets out there and letting them, you know, embarrass themselves. It's embarrassing what's going on. So it's all scripted. Everything on the news is scripted. Y'all not looking at all these hurricanes that's going on. Man-made. Uh, I've been telling y'all this. You got generators deep at the bottom of the sea or deep in the seas that can rotate and do all kind of stuff. So there's hurricanes all kind of everywhere. There's uh, uh, portholes being opened. There's demons being brought in under the title of April 8th and the lunar eclipse. And if y'all are on internet worrying about Puffy because they put him up as a puppet right now, Cat Williams and all of this shit, the Jaguar Riot, everything these people are saying, then y'all are locked into that. And you're not locked into what I talked about in the beginning, the real electromagnetic universe and what's going on with it. They still make money off dead stars. Michael Jackson, James Brown, James Dean, all kind of rock groups, Whitney Houston, Prince, they're still making money off them. Y'all have to understand contracts. Y'all have to understand masters. Why do you think they call the main part of your music your master? Do you own your masters? No, I don't own my masters. Somebody owns your masters. So when you die or whatever happens, you don't own your masters. I got all these dead people masters. What I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to up. A, I'm gonna buy into an oldies but goodies program. Put it right on TV so they can buy all this old music. Now when you go back and buy all this stylistics albums, dramatics, temptations, OJs, all of these rock groups, whatever, because they got rock channels where you can get ancient rock music, old, back in the days, rock, oldies but goodies. Why do you think they keep oldies but goodies in rotation? You're not going to stop watching TV and not see a Motown's greatest hits, Barry Gordy, Quincy Jones or whatever, all their greatest hits from all them dead artists, Sam Cooke and all them. Because when you order those records, they own, the people who own the masters still get paid. So they still put these records in circulations by way of oldies but goodies and they're still draining that star. You understand what I'm saying? All the, because the oldies but goodies, you make it to that by having been a good nigga. You don't want a lot of Grammys. They set you up. So they set your name up as an Oscar winner, Grammy winner, uh, uh, music in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. When you start seeing all that, they putting people in the Hall of Fame. That's securing that when they die, whoever owned their masters, they're still big. So we we will pay big for a Patti LaBelle concert. We'll pay big for a such and such concert when that old star come back around. Dolly Parton or whoever it is in our culture. Aretha Franklin, if she want to go out and give a show, it would be phenomenal tickets. Why? Because this is the Grammy Award winning or whoever. How do they put you up big? You got to pay big for that ticket because that celebrity has been branded in America as a as a uh, star. You get a, your star is on Hollywood. Your star is on Hollywood. Once that happens, they're going to, you're in light and printed in life forever. You can charge more for an appearance. Why? Because you have all these accolades and stuff behind you. Y'all understand what I'm saying? And they still going on draining that star and making that money because these celebrities don't own their masters. How you gonna own your master when you're a goddamn slave? You let me let me know. All right. So when they tell you we're living in a matrix or uh, another world, we're not living under the actual illumination light that we're supposed to be living under of the North Pole, Polaris, and its seven luminaries that's around it. That been hijacked and and 
lessened and, and, and made more dense, that light. You understand that? And it's, it's more to it than that, yes. But that's what's going on. Sometimes people know what's going on. This is what's really going on. So, I mean, let me show y'all something. If y'all put your uh, attention to the screen, these are sacred, uh, these are not books. These would be tales, texts, and things of that nature. And this is what you'll see on Discovery Channel and all these ancient books. I have all of this stuff from Buddhism on down. This is uh, the book of Dracula right here. You see this? All of this shit. These are books that will cost you. I have to keep them wrapped. They're in plastic. Catholicism, Protestantism, ancient holy Bibles. Like, no New Testament, Old Testaments, and things of that nature. And this is just nothing. This is the tale of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This is what y'all have to know right here. This is it right here. The Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's God and the devil is one and all of that kind of stuff. That's the same person, but they change. And he's a scientist. But anyway, peace and blessings. Welcome to Soul Future. I hope you all enjoyed that little lesson. I don't want to have to do part two. So let's just roll out here while we, while we, uh, while we at it. And this is all they do. They study all of this and then read back to y'all out of this. And this makes them, I guess, mystical teachers or great teachers or whatever. This is nothing right here what I'm showing y'all. These is tech. This is not even a fraction of what I got. But I travel with these, keep them wrapped up. And each of these books are very, cost a lot of money, right? I have books in my possession that cost up to thirty and 40000 that was given to me. That was given to me. But I keep them wrapped.